I know that testing for Alzheimer's has come a long way. So um, it used to be that you had to die to get a confirmed diagnosis of Alzheimer's, but that's come a long way, right? So what are the tests that someone gets or should get to confirm their diagnosis of Alzheimer's? The first thing that everyone should get is to get a good physical exam. Make sure there isn't any other cause that's mimicking the symptoms. So you want to rule out infections like Lyme disease, thyroid problems, etc. Once you do those things, then you are going to have what's called a good cognitive evaluation. Some of these exams take about three to four hours and they test all aspects of your memory. After that, you may then decide to have a brain MRI to look at how your brain, the structure of your brain, make sure there are no strokes there that could account for the memory problems. And then nowadays, just very recently, we have two very good definitive tests for Alzheimer's. One is a spinal tap and we send the fluid off to look for certain deposits that are found in patients who have Alzheimer's. The other is called a PET scan, and we're looking again for these brain deposits. And those are pretty definitive for a diagnosis of Alzheimer's, provided you have functional impairment and changes on the cognitive test. So depending on the results of those first three, mm -hmm. then they would move forward to potentially the um, spinal tap or, yes. or the PET scan. Yes. Are there any tests, because you know, sometimes doctors like to go a little test crazy. Yes. Are there any tests that some doctors, not you, tend to give that really are a waste of time or a waste of money, but they're, you know, they kind of do it just either for political reasons, for cover their butt reasons, for whatever reasons that somebody should say, I don't need that one? You know, uh, unfortunately, there's very little over testing in mm -hmm. Alzheimer's. I think there's a lot of under testing because doctors, um, are not yet aware that Alzheimer's can be treated effectively. Patients are not aware, physicians are not aware. So there's less of an onus to try to diagnose Alzheimer's. So I would say, if you're worried about memory problems, go with all the tests your doctor's recommending. And they don't yet have, I'll call it the brain version of a colonoscopy or a mammogram to get early screening to see if there are any plaques that are starting to build up, are there? There are. I mean, some of these tests, the newer tests, mm -hmm. are able to say, well, you know, akin to maybe you have a few polyps in your colon. Well, maybe you have a few plaques in your brain and you might need to be watched. But you wouldn't want a spinal every year just for giggles. No, absolutely not. Right. Yeah. So, uh, so they're not, they don't yet have a brain version they of a don't have a brain. They do right. have a brain version of a cardiac stress test. Mm -hmm for the brain, which is the cognitive evaluation that I told you about, mm -hmm. where you take your brain out for four hours of a mental test drive, right. and then that tests all areas of your brain. And I personally think that everyone over 60 should have what's called a cognitive baseline. All right. Yeah. Great advice. Thank you. You're welcome. If you like what you just saw, come to our website. We have many more videos with Dr. Devi. You can buy her book too, The Spectrum of Hope. Here's mine. It's all dog-eared because there's so much important information in it about the, the new learning and understanding about Alzheimer's. And do me a favor. Do that social thing. Let other people know about these very important videos. Come to our website, bottomlineinc.com.